going on guys? Alex here from Mr. Building, and in today's video, we're going to take this very classic, very bland, built-in, fit-in bathtub shower combo that we all have in all of our houses, and we're going to spice it up a little bit. So we're going to take this in and turn it to that. So without wasting time, let me show you how I did it, and let's get into the video. Let's go. Now, before we get started, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. I've been a fan of Manscaped way before they were the sponsor of this channel. See that right there? That's the Lawnmower 2.0. I bought that a while ago. Because I've been a fan, Manscaped was nice enough to send me a bunch of tools from their all in one performance package. Check this out. Now, first things first, I'm really excited to try the brand new Lawnmower 3.0. This is a waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology. Now, if you're wondering what skin safe technology, let's put it this way, it reduces nicks and cuts where it matters the most. I'll just leave it at that. You guys know this, my background being Russian, my nose hair grows like a caveman. So, I need this so bad. Hmm. Probably should be doing this at the dinner table. Don't tell Irina. Now, Manscaped didn't forget about your toes and your nails. Introducing the Shears 2.0 Luxury Nail Kit. For a limited time, you get all of this plus two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. All my friends and anybody out there, I know who you are. Trust me, you need this. You guys get nasty in the summer every time we go fishing. Manscaped is more than just a ball trimming company. Their signature cologne refined smells incredible. I'll be in public all the time and people are like, hmm, what's that smell? That smells good, it smells manly. It's like, oh, that's my cologne, Manscaped, refined. You'll like it, go check them out. Can I order my coffee now? So do yourself a favor, go to manscaped.com to get 20% off your order plus free international shipping, plus the two free gifts when you use the promo code BUILDIT20 at manscaped.com. Your balls and your body will thank you. Let's get back to this build, let's go. Throw some of the tools that I usually use on some kind of demo work. I have a list down in the description if you guys want to get started on let's go start breaking down the sucker. Um, the center cap pops off. There's usually about a one Phillips screw in there that makes the snob come out. There's two Phillips screws on the sides to make this plate pop off. This little spigot, there's a little uh, Allen wrench key, loosen it up, this slides off. This is a flat screwdriver, pops off. Unscrew the bottom drain, unscrew the head. What we have to do is we have to cut inch and a quarter-ish on the outside perimeter get the drywall off and then we'll see those screws, unscrew them and then with a little bit of putty knife and a little bit of a utility knife cutting, the thing should pop off. I'll probably have to unloosen it and then cut up a couple pieces and take it out. That'll probably be the easiest and the most funnest. Also, in case you're wondering about this vanity, really proud of it, our last re video. Go check it out. Learn a ton, sharing a ton. Also, these are demo day tank tops. Demo day in the back. We shall rebuild. I love it. Comfortable, nice and tall. you love them. Help support the channel. Get you one. Link in the description. Uh, these screws are lined up exactly where the studs are, so I'm going to go on the side of them, obviously not to hit the, ward, the boards. Uh, my only concern is I don't know if they're not allowed to put anything behind this, meaning like electrical or other plumbing, so I have to be very careful. Oh, glasses. There we go. In the words of John Malecki, my arch nemesis, who is the worst person in the world, safety, third. I'm sure there's a specialty tool here that you're required, but you can make one. I'll put some pliers inside the little grate that's in there, the little X, then take another set of wider pliers. I remember when I was a kid, my dad used to 
he didn't want to go buy the tool, so he'd always make his own tool. So sometimes he had to weld something on, sometimes he had to jam something in there. It took me about, I think, an hour to take everything out. Oh, real quick, this will be very important. The tub that we're going to pick out, make sure that it does say 60 inches, and I'm pretty sure all of them do say that. But, second most important part, find your drain. Some of them are left-sided drains, and some of them are right-sided. Don't get the wrong side of one, and then you have to replumb or go return it. So, we need a right-sided one. 248 bucks. So far, um, under 250 bucks. I think it's a good one. Uh, the bathtub, like I said, about roughly 250 bucks. The glass is, from my budgeting, I think it's also about 250 bucks. And for the wall tile, I'm guessing it's gonna be about 200 bucks. Now, my goal with the shower is to get it, I don't know, at least 100 or 200 bucks under budget, uh, under $1,000, that's the budget. <laughs> All right, so here's our first issue installing the tub. They want a um, like a support brace to be um, underneath this lip. Uh, I still have a gap right here. That's uh, thickness of a stud. I'll have to get a stud, two by four, run it from there to there, and then to that stud, put a, uh, a like a one by three or something like that. And then that one by three is what's going to be supporting this piece there. They want this tub to be secure to the studs, but they want uh, like a roofing nail to be between just the head of the roofing nail to be pressing this against the studs all the way around including the bottoms it's weird never seen that before but I would imagine they put screws but then again screws make sense you don't want to put them because then they'll leak into it now that I'm saying it out loud it makes 100% sense this is my very first time doing an actual bathtub installation so we just learned something together congratulations we'll take it to the next build Alright, so everybody knows that it's not a Mr. Builder project unless we run into some hiccups. Well, we found some hiccups. That's not a line. The 2x4 was wrong because if the 2x4 was there and the 1x2, this would be spaced out way too far. Yes, this would be lined up. Perfect. But this has to be flush against the stud. So underneath there, behind there, it's just a 1x2 supporting this ledge. So now we can put our curdy backer board against this and it will flow everything inside and nothing will go over. The unfortunate part is I have to move that over, which that part's easy. It's a couple of screws. But that here, I have to go in my crawl space, chop it off, move it, and then secure it. So no problem. It's just, you know how it is. We're just gonna have to improvise. This is the fancy method. This is a Schluter system, and it is a waterproofing membrane. It is a a cement board replacement it is an all-in-one process so what we are going to do is we're going to cut this up use the specific screws that are water tightening screws to secure it through the studs basically like you'd hang sheetrock and then after that we would use a thin set and the waterproofing membrane on the joints joints just to make sure it's all one it's a little bit on the pricier side it's a three foot by four foot 36 bucks a piece i needed four pieces this cement board is going to take forever i I'm, i'd rather just throw this up and then be ready to tell tomorrow so that's my little rant back to work Now I've crunched the numbers between using this stuff and the cement board. You're only gonna save for a shower this size roughly around 100 bucks. So for 100, 120 bucks more, I kind of splurged and got a product that's very easy to work with. I could basically do this all in one day. The next step would be now is to waterproof these joints and these screw holes here. To do that, we use the Curdy Schluter waterproofing membrane. It's in a roll, something like this is about 18 bucks or so. And we're gonna use a thin set, an unmodified thin set apparently has something to do with the drying and curing time. Then the trowel is a quarter inch V-groove trowel. We're gonna put a layer on, roll this stuff on, and then use the back end of this or you know a drywall knife and press out, squeegee out everything in there so it's got nice strong adhesion. Uh, and we also have to cover the screw holes as well. Um, mix it on my thin side. I've always do it in the consistency of like sour cream or ketchup. The nice thing is because we don't have any crazy cuts 
Uh, we're not even gonna whip out a table saw. We're just gonna use a simple tile cutter. I think these things are like 40, 50 bucks. Makes a nice searing cut and then snap it in place and then it creates a nice crisp cut. I'll show you. Why, why even talk? I'll show you. So let's go. That's pretty. It has this really rough edge. So once you have that exposed, it's really ugly, it looks unfinished. Usually, like you've seen on this vanity, there's designated trim pieces. This particular tile does not. Not all tiles do. We found these uh, edge trim pieces. You can use this on the floor. Uh, they're made by Schluter, uh, which is the same brand as this waterproofing membrane. It's convenient the way it kind of goes as you put your thin set on, lay your tile, and then shove this in. The great thing is, is it conceals it perfectly well. It's a smooth transition. It's black, which is gonna match our grout. These suckers are 20 bucks a pop, making it real difficult to stay on budget. Hey, Schluter, great products, really are. Give us a break. Cut, cut the prices down a smidge, huh? We got all of our wedges out. Now these little lifters. The nice thing is these lifters also act as spacers. The taking them off part is actually the fun part. Okay, I guess some of them suck, but you know, it's still easier. And now it's time for the grout. This is the grout that we're gonna use. Anywho, we're gonna mix it up, follow the directions here, and then we're gonna use our little grout tool to start pushing it into the crevices. And then we'll have a clean water bucket with a sponge to slowly kind of clean up the areas if it gets a little too messy. I gotta start fixing that drain. Remember how I was misaligned? Nice thing is they sell a full kit for both the overflow and the drain. So just learn from my mistakes. No, not all tubs have the holes in the same places. All right, so right now we're gonna start installing the hardware here. Before you put the new tub in, attach a new version of all these plumbings for the overflow and the bottom drain, and then carefully slide it into place, and then hook it up from the bottom. It's just, it's there's not enough space below. So um, that's just lessons learned, pass it on to you. My frustrations, your win. Let's do this. Grout is not waterproofing, so make sure you use a waterproofing thing. And when it drips, if you have kids like me, trust me, you'll ruin your uh, floorboards. Uh, they don't carry glass panels in stock at any of the major hardware stores. Probably be a good idea to order it when you're about a week away from being done. Uh, my mistake. I've been just sitting on my hands waiting for this thing. Also, sorry it took so long for this video to come out. Glass, glass fault. There's a small aesthetic issue. Um, what colors do we have here? For the most part, black grout, black trim, copper, right? So we're technically working on those two things. 
Here's a problem with the glass. The glass is frameless, which is nice. You know, that's just a seal. Except for this little ledge here. It's polished silver. Well, the solution is we're gonna hit it up with a little bit of flat black paint. The nice thing is this part, this is the jam that attaches to the wall and then this thing just slides into place and then secures at the bottom. Well, the nice thing is this is just a piece of aluminum. We could just spray paint it with the good old flat black paint, do a nice job on it, and then this will slide in. Now, once it slides in, we're still gonna be left with about a three quarter inch strip that's stainless steel. Now, technically we can live with that, but what we can do is we can just mask all this off and hit it up as well, at least on one side, we can do both. And that will be a nice black piece and we're not gonna hate ourselves once we see, you know, black and copper, brass and polished silver. Let's just make it nice. It's exhausting to do things the right way, huh? Yeah. All right, so from my understanding, the way installation is gonna go on this is this is the wall jam, and it's got screws obviously coming down or drill screw holes for it. So we're gonna place this, well, this way actually, this is facing out against the wall, uh, mark out what these holes are, use a quarter inch tile uh, bit, uh, drill the holes through the tile, put the anchors that came with this kit inside of them, and then secure this in place. Once it's in place, then we'll take our whole glass because it's got another piece of metal. It slides right in here. It allows for it to open and close as you need it. Once you get it in place, then we'll secure it to keep it from moving. Seems pretty basic. Let's not screw it up. All right, so we have to now secure this glass. We're gonna secure this panel to this uh, wall channel. Again, kind of hard to get in there, but I'll do my best to show you guys some of those details. The channel that mounts to the wall here, it, because these tile jobs are never like plumb or 90 degree perfect, it conceals any gaps in that. So that's actually a pretty smart idea. for sticking around watching yet another one of my videos guys this process has been incredible we've learned a ton along the way though it was frustrating while well, we got started with it these are critical lessons that we'll be able to take to the next project it's going to make us better builders and better people along the way courage and sweat guys that's our motto you need the courage to to tackle on projects like this and you need the sweat to deal with these frustrating scenarios that come along the way um, it's just it's just what you have to do to just improve along the way this project has really come a long way, guys. You've, I hope you guys follow this process. And if you're brand to the channel and you like videos like this, you, all this remodel stuff that we've done, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted every time a video comes out. Like, comment, and share it with your friends. If you wanna connect with me on my social media platforms, all the links will be down in the description below, as well as my merch section, where you guys can get these brand new Demo Day t-shirts and my Patreon account where I share a lot of the behind the scenes, uh, answer any of the kind of questions you guys have all along these projects and some of the tips and tricks I've learned along the way. All these things help support this channel. I know I'm gonna get a lot of people already asking, hey, how come you did the bathtub and you didn't rip it out and do the shower pan? I've done videos like that before. It's on my channel, go check them out. I just didn't wanna take another bathtub out of my house and depreciate the resale value. That's just the way I was thinking. Besides, I wanna try something different. All right, guys, that is it for me this week. Tune out this week. We'll see you guys on the next one. See ya, bye. There we go. We got a hole. They're gonna look nice and nice. Nice and nice. They're gonna look nice. It's just single nice. What's the worst that can happen? Flood your house. Solving problems. That's what we're in the business for. Solving problems. <laughs> Shut up. Alright? We're just teaching people how to get started. And that is it.